Hello guys, welcome back to Dharma Geosphere. Uh, at the outset, uh, wish you all a very happy and a prosperous new year and a very productive year 2021. Uh, we, today we are on the 1st of January. The UPSC notification for the uh, prelims and mains exam for 2021 uh, is just around the corner and then now uh, you should now focus and uh, get more serious for the 2021 batch, of course, for 2020, the main exam is just a few more days. You are all well prepared, well focused. I'm sure you will all uh, crack the geography optional uh, and do very well. So today uh, in my video series, I continue uh, with the uh, geographical thought. Uh, we are almost uh, in the last few uh, topics. Uh, today I will be talking uh, to you regarding uh, the impact of uh, biology on uh, the geographical thought and geographical evolution and geographical concepts and ideas. Though a lot of people think it is biology which had an impact, uh, actually if you see uh, deep dive and see it is actually geography which uh, uh, influenced uh, biology uh, majorly in the very initial stages. So, uh, for more than uh, 100 years, uh, the geography, geographical work has been uh, influenced by the evolutionary theory of uh, the biological uh, species and their uh, development and immediately uh, through the work of uh, Charles Darwin and his uh, Origin of uh, Species, which was a divide among the history of uh, ideas. Uh, at least uh, there are three uh, different themes on which uh, uh, the biological evolution of species had uh, its great influence uh, as far as uh, the geographical evolution is concerned. Uh, one is regarding the chain, idea of change through time. The idea, of, uh, the second was the idea of uh, organism and organization. And the third was the struggle and uh, the um, survival. Uh, <clears throat> As far as the first part um, is concerned, that is uh, idea of uh, change through time, it was actually um, James Hutton uh, through his theory of uh, uniformitarianism uh, showed how the uh, landform and landscape development occurred uh, over years uh, through time, through a slow evolution and uh, he showed uh, that the uh, geographic landforms which we see as uh, operative today, the same processes operated um, long back and they continue to operate uh, even today. Um, but it was uh, um, Charles Lyell through his uh, principles of uh, uh, geology uh, who brought in um, the uh, concept of uh, the evolution uh, uh, through time and uh, <clears throat> it was um, a very uh, kind of a um, transformational theory in the sense that the medieval belief uh, of the age of the earth uh, was totally uh, shattered uh, kind of because of the kind of evidence that uh, Charles um, Lyell had bought and um, it also uh, his uh, um, uh, proposal of uh, the evolution of landforms developing slowly through time uh, in fact cut across this uh, medieval uh, myth about the catastrophic origin uh, of the uh, earth and um, it brought in a totally different revolution wherein you know, scientists, scholars now started accepting that everything evolved slowly uh, through time and this was very important. Uh, Charles Lyell's principles of geology um, about the focus on the changes uh, through time because that was the central theme of uh, the Charles uh, Darwin's ideas of the origin of species. And then um, uh, coming back, uh, so the both um, Hutton, James Hutton and uh, Charles 
Lyle had a great influence on uh, Charles Darwin when he came about uh, the, with his work uh, related to the distribution, origin and distribution of coral reefs uh, through time. And then uh, his book uh, on, uh, or his work related to the origin of atolls, um, again um, through the evolution of biological uh, species over time, greatly inspired in turn W.M. Davis who came about with this theory of cycle of erosion. The cycle of erosion was also based on uh, the origin of uh, species. He took the biological concept of different stages of uh, the early stage, the maturity stage and the old stage from the uh, biological uh, evolution. But remember if you actually read um, the cycle of erosion by uh, W.M. Davis, you will understand that his work was not uh, holistic, his work was related to isolated islands. So much so that if you actually um, uh, look at it uh, more carefully, it is nothing but denudation chronology. So denudation chronology is another topic, another very important topic in uh, your uh, geography optional. So if in case there is a question related to denudation chronology, um, either in short notes or long run, do bring in uh, Davis concept of cycle of erosion so that it, um, the answer will um, appear much more enriched and you have a grasp of not only cycle of erosion but also also the denudation chronology. So uh, that is how it is. It is just not that only in the physical geography, physical geology, there was an impact and influence of the biological evolution. There was also an influence of uh, the origin of uh, species and the biological uh, evolution of uh, species on human geography. You take um, Carl Sahar at um, the University of Berkeley. He and uh, his students did an in-depth study of uh, the various uh, historical settlements in America, which was greatly influenced by the uh, work of evolutionary biology. Uh, similarly, um, Wittesley's uh, uh, um, uh, concepts also were influenced uh, by uh, the uh, his occupants um, concept was also uh, the uh, central theme of that uh, was basically from the evolution of uh, uh, the biological uh, species. So that's how um, when you come to the first point, um, you can write in uh, a lot of examples of how the biology uh, impacted uh, the geographical evolution and the concepts in geography. Uh, that is changes through time uh, in fact actually inspired uh, the evolution of uh, uh, species, uh, origin of species and evolution of uh, the biological concepts. So now we will uh, take up the second and the third uh, impacts. I'll show you in the slides and we'll see how uh, the um, biology on the whole impacted the uh, and ecology on in fact also impacted uh, the uh, geography through time. So after the uh, point of uh, discussing on the idea of uh, change uh, through time, which was one of the important points uh, related to the influence of uh, uh, the biological evolution and uh, geographical thought, we'll move on to the uh, second point that is the idea of uh, organization. So the organization and uh, ecology Darwin, Darwin uh, treated man at the same level as the other living organisms. Carefully listen to this and try to understand. So when it comes to um, aspects like the influence of biology on uh, geography etc. Not only just go through it mechanically but just uh, um, pause. Uh, sit back and also start thinking about it because there is a lot of information if you think about it and you will be able to relate it much better with the other topics in geography. So though the concept of organism in geography predates Darwin, but the earlier concept of organism involved explanation by analogy. So after Darwin, organ, organic analogy lost its earlier metaphysical connotations and it became more biological in the orientation and expression because a lot of evidences were also being brought in uh, through the uh, theories of uh, geography, particularly of that of Hutton and uh, Lyle who um, indisputably proved uh, that uh, the entire landforms as they evolved through time 
had uh, a history behind them and what uh, the process that we are operating today and visible to us today have operated earlier much before. So it is now got replaced by a more explicitly ecological uh, approach. So the third is uh, the um, uh, selection and uh, survival or selection on the um, struggle, struggle for existence. Then among geographers who use the concept of struggle and selection in the course of uh, environmental adaptation by human communities, of course the names of uh, Fleur, uh, Huntington, uh, Griffith Taylor stand out most prominently. We have studied the contribution of all of them uh, quite some time back, so please try to recollect and then try to interconnect how uh, these thoughts uh, we are getting now merged with each other. So I uh, stress the need for physiological study to assess uh, environmental effects on man. Huntington focused on the theme of natural selection environmental influences and also the human populations. So Griffith Taylor used his uh, studies related to the races and states and towns and settlement geography etc. But the influence of Darwin in the uh, chorological geography of uh, the Hetner and uh, Harshon was also clearly visible in the central focus on the concept of spatial organization which emphasized the interdependence of phenomena of diverse origins existing together in particular segments of the earth's surface. So ecology as a geographic principle. So this is something which uh, the examiners have not touched so far. Probably uh, mm, this could be uh, this could uh, mm, be a question. So geography as a chorological science focused on the study of aerial differentiation had completely failed to grasp the potential of the concept of ecology as a working principle in geography. Earlier it was, yes, but uh, it was not uh, fully focused as uh, uh, separately as ecology. So only in the 60s geography bade goodbye to this concept of uh, exceptionalism by the uh, chorological group, uh, Hetner and uh, Harshon, so that uh, it became generally accepted that in its aims and method, geography is no different from the other scientific disciplines, including that of ecology. And this became alive to the potentialities of the ecosystem concept. That is how ecology, see once um, after the um, Hetner uh, Harshon concepts uh, uh, were bid goodbye, uh, geography also evolved, it blossomed uh, as a science and it just brought in so many other aspects uh, related to ecology and environment and it became so enriched as a scientific discipline. So many a scholar also began to underline that geography and uh, ecology have much more in common. As you see, the UPSC syllabus also has a lot of ecology, a lot of environment in, in the geography optional paper as well as the geography domain of the general studies papers. So both are concerned with the distribution, organization and morphology of phenomena on the surface of the earth so that the two disciplines inevitably converge in terms of concepts and techniques. So you, you see uh, both of them almost the same when it comes to the various techniques used in studying them. Also both are concerned with the study of organisms in the context of natural environment and particular places and locales. So ecosystem is what? It's nothing but a location. So the um, description of uh, ecosystem should include spatial relations. Uh, inventories of the physical features, its habitats and ecological niches. So what are the properties that recommend uh, ecosystem concept to geographical work? So uh, one of them is the man-environment interaction in specific areas and regions or locales. Besides this, since ecosystem concept combines both physical and biological environment in a single interacting system, it helps to resolve the age-old problem of dualism in geography. Physical geography, human geography, they are all the same. Physical geography focuses on the physical environment, human geography is concerned with the study of women. But both, this dualism doesn't exist at all because both are interdependent and uh, dependent on each other and they are actually uh, together just like an ecosystem. So ecosystems are also structured orderly, uh, rationally, 
and they are very easily comprehensible so that once the framework of any spatial system is clearly defined it is possible to systematically analyze this this is what is done in uh, the um, regional analysis regional uh, synthesis wherein you bring in all the aspects of both the physical and human geography and then you put it together so it is very similar to how the ecosystems are structured similarly ecosystems are functioning systems involving continuous throughput of matter and energy so thus after the framework is clearly set out it is easy to quantify the nature of interaction uh, and the, their patterns between its components so similarly we do that in geography in various uh, area analysis in including the regional analysis the spatial analysis this the functioning involving continuous throughputs this is what is done in geography so that is how um, uh, ecosystem is so similar to geography and then it's also an open system tending towards a steady state so like the that of thermodynamics so following the um, development of laws of open system thermodynamics many of the older concept of geology are also being uh, reinterpreted the way it is happening in geography so ec ecosystems are, can also be conceptualized as uh, different levels of uh, complexity from a single unit to the national system of agriculture in any country so here also we see from the concept of uh, um, place space region and then nation so once you have covered all the topics of geographical thought you will yourself understand how uh, the pyramid is automatically getting constructed so uh, that is basically the various uh, influences of the um, ecosystem or how ecology can be treated uh, um equivalent to uh, geography what are the principles involved what are the concepts that overlap so this is a, could be an important topic uh, for the uh, examiners so just please go through so um, now i will be moving on uh, to um, discuss uh, the concept of uh, place space and all that and then uh, another two three topics and we will end this geographical thought i am very happy the way uh, we have interacted and the way i was able to uh, take you through all these videos without leaving any stone unturned as far as the evolution of geographical thought is concerned i am sure once uh, anyone who is appearing for 2021 particularly they have all this in place and they don't have to worry about running around uh, and then asking me where from where to start and where to end so you here now have a more or less a clear framework from where you keep uh, listening and read the textbooks don't miss that and then i'm sure uh, your confidence level will be boost and then uh, it will also impact the other chapters i will cover entire geography optional on these videos of course i am always available for uh, further interaction and uh, question answers practice and expecting the kind of questions and also a uh, little deep dive into some research journals and uh, so that you know you are well informed you have all the content where you can just go and crack any question that comes in your direction so guys stay tuned stay focused and just be ready to go and crack the exam so catch up with you all in my next video till then bye stay safe stay focused